I'm Dr. Amy Cooper Hakeem with the Boca Voice, and today on Ask Amy, Boca's Workplace Expert, we will discuss some tips and tricks to stay positive and motivated even during the stressful period when we are in between jobs. It can be quite hectic when we are waiting for that job interview or hoping to hear back from a recruiter, and we might wonder what we can do with ourselves in the meanwhile. Oftentimes we spend a lot of our time when in between jobs scouring websites, job boards and the like, but we might also procrastinate by scouring Facebook or perhaps searching for that much needed item on Amazon. While it's important to definitely take downtime, one specific step that you can take that will help you to be most productive is to set a clear schedule and stick to it. Designate specific hours when you will search the job boards and specific hours when you'll scour Amazon for that extra prize or perhaps uh, read a good book. By having that distinctive time, you're going to benefit yourself because you'll know that you have time to play and still have that dedicated time to work. Now let's imagine that you go for an interview and do not get a job. Instead of just saying thank you politely to the recruiter or replying back to that email, take that extra step to ask why you didn't get the job. Individuals, the recruiters and managers are often very comfortable and willing to share why you didn't receive a position and you can use that information to help you to perhaps refine or retune your resume or reframe an answer that you might get when asked a similar question in a future interview for a different position. In addition to setting the specific schedule and also learning from those from whom you do not get a position, also take time to actively participate in LinkedIn dialogue. LinkedIn is a great social media tool specifically designed for business and industry and you can find a specific market niche and interact with individuals who are either in your industry or perhaps individuals who are in an industry for which you aspire to be a part of. Either way, having that dialogue can help you to be top of mind for individuals to think of if and when they do have a position that might be open for you. It's also a great way to learn from your peers. It can help you to stay motivated. Finally, make sure to include specific downtime. Don't just say you're going to take time off for yourself. Use the opportunity to ha that you have for this break to read that book or to watch that series on TV that you have yet to see. Reward yourself, don't punish yourself for being in between jobs. That way, when you do have that interview and when you do eventually get your job, you'll be all the more ready to perform with a positive and confident attitude and a productive demeanor. It's been a pleasure speaking with you today. If you have questions or comments about this week's segment or suggestions for future topics for Ask Amy, Boca's Workplace Expert, please send me an email at amy at and follow me on Twitter at Amy Cooper Hakeem. Bye for now.